All right, welcome back everybody. I take on Calamite again. I see there's a little stone guy I need to go kill later. Uh, but let's do a quick prayer before we fight Calamite. Uh, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do our uh, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits that prowl about, prowl about the world, seeking the ruination of souls. Amen. <laughs> fucking Calamite. A fucking piece of shit. So we will be hell or high water taking out Calamite this episode. Fuck you, Black Dragon. Not sure what he was attacking there, but okay. Yeah, didn't have enough time to roll out of that one. His easiest, that's his easiest attack for me to evade. Uh, because it's a simple l roll diagonally left or diagonally right depending on which side he's coming at um, and then you just out and out pull uh, pull rank on him ouch That's the simple roll you gotta do to get away from him. Gives you plenty of time to wind up for a spell. How much? This not so much. Trying to get out of his AoE on that one. So devastating with that attack, too. See, simple dodge. Can't block that one. This is about the time where he pulls out his, uh, Psychic attack if you get close to him. Uh, he ate me. Alright, runs away. Fire attack. Don't get the electricity off that time. Roll that out, roll out of that way. So, if I had rolled out of the way, I'd been okay, but he locked me down, and that was the end of that. Locked me down. Give him another attempt. Ooh, we're gonna attempt a slightly different strategy. It's going to involve, again, the Sunlight Blade, uh, which has not done very well for me recently, but uh, we'll give it a try. Uh, one of the things I did not realize, however, is that by doing what I just did, I canceled out my Sunlight Blade, so... This run is fucked. Fuck. 
feel like I'm doing dagger level damage to him. Come on, give me a good chomp and I could use a good pack chomp. If you get right into his taint here, you're okay. That's also okay, but we gotta get outside of that AoE. Which I know is a lot is difficult because I'm locked on to him. I almost dodged that perfectly. Almost as always never though. Oh I managed to somehow dodge that second one. More lightning. Nah, I didn't get that off. Heal. So he's gonna be doing a lot more range attacks. If I had built a physical character instead of a magical character, uh, and I was up in his grill right now, he'd be doing a lot more of that attempting to do the psychic attack more uh, but that lunge is fucking deadly ain't it so there's the psychic attack pretty great hey you want to watch something fun we're gonna go attempt to take this guy out oh I died All right, we're gonna give Calamite another fucking run. You can see I switched back to regular armor again. Not bad damage, but I need to be able to get in there for another, another attack. Take out his brun brundle. Get in there, give him a good crash crush trunk. Alright, we're switching over now. Alright, that was enough time for me to switch hands. Let's get the shield back on ourselves. Hmm. I no care about your stupid. I no care about your stupid defense. I'm just going to eat right through it like it's nothing. Now, there's no defense there, obviously. Oh, that's death. And I somehow survived that. Yep, there's the psychic attack I was expecting. Those follow-up attacks are so deadly. Um, particularly when you, you get a character like Calamite that can do... is just as likely to do the single attack as he is to do the multi-attack. So dangerous. Yep, that's it. He put the fire right on top of me and lit me like a candle. I got some twinkling. I got some red titnit.
Got a big fucking sword in case I need it. I'm gonna pick these guys up. So over here. Oh, the brave warrior. Hmm. How about soul of a fucking uh demigod? How about that? I know that's like every boss soul you fight, Chris. I get that, but like I'm thinking like like a Hercules level soul, you know. He is unaffected by the mid force. You know what he's not unaffected by? Lightning. Oh! In his eyeball too. I'm just throwing these right in his eyeballs. Interesting thing about playing um, Dark Souls. First time you play a Dark Souls game, or at least first time I played Dark Souls game, there's a lot of heavy shielding. You know, like, you know, you're shielding, waiting for the next incoming attack, and you're shielding, shielding, shielding. And then at a certain point, you figure out what the cooldown is on most enemies. You learn, like, when you take damage like that to leave your shield down of immediately bring it up and cost yourself even more stamina so like you may see me in a second here uh block one of calamite's attacks um and then he eats like 90 to 100 percent of my stamina but then i know to immediately put the shield down even if it results in a follow-up like that. Yep, you got me. That's gonna be death. There's lots to look at and nothing to do, because I don't think there's anything here that's special. No special items, no special anything, just dropping your ass down safely and securely. That doesn't even lead anywhere, I don't think. And yeah, a little bit of damage, that's okay. Ooh, I do have to say Dark Souls 2 really fucked me up. Or Dark Souls fucked me up for Dark Souls 2 in terms of how far you can fall. If you can fall pretty far in Dark Souls 1 and not die. And in Dark Souls 2, if you fall much more than, say... Oh, that was embarrassing. That was an embarrassing run there. If you fall any more than, say, one or two... Um, people heights... Then you end up... Um, dying. <laughs> you know, like, you can fall, like, say... Say my character is uh, t six foot tall. I could probably fall carefully maybe 12 feet. Uh, in Dark Souls 2 before I die. It was very strange. Because they immediately give you, in your main hub area, they immediately give you this giant pit that you think you can drop down into. And that's just a trick, because you can't. Kalanid, I hate your guts. We will defeat you, though. Not now, but in a moment. If I do this right, I should be able to beat Kalamit uh, and then do maybe some more stuff afterwards. I'm hoping this doesn't take the, the entirety of a half an hour episode, me just fighting him on and on. I mean, like I said, the Kalamit's not dangerous per se, like, you know, Artorius is dangerous, but. He's just does so much damn damage, you know? Either like an attack like that that locks you down, or, you know, one of his near one hit kills. Music's pretty awesome, isn't it? I 
I probably don't have his balance well enough for you guys be here while. Lightning bolt. Such an easy attack to evade. Yeah, once you figure out his, the range of his fire attack like that, uh, he starts to become a lot easier. However, he's deceptive because this attack is longer than his uh, a, you know, his breath attack where he's going left to right. Doesn't go nearly as far. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm not gonna be able to roll out of that. He did not attack me there. Great attack is definitely the bane of this. This this oh, he's gonna be dead here in a second. I did it. Good for me. Let's point at him. You suck. I brought you down. Thumbs down. Tell him eat ring. I forget what the Calamite ring does, but I don't care either. So, let's look around for some items that I know are around here somewhere. And then we'll head back to uh, the Bond Barling Shrine. Go from there. Air Road. I guess I picked up his arrow that went through Calamite's body. But there were multiple, maybe? I don't know. You figure it out. I don't understand the lore. I don't understand the lore because in a lot of cases there's there's a, like, I wouldn't say a super legitimate theory, but there's a legitimate theory this is all made up in your brain. Like, you know, the, the whole Rugrats, Angelica made up everything. She's a, she's got the bad whatever and the babies are just figments for imagination, but that that philosophy is such laziness. It's just like, okay, you know, everything just becomes a figment of your imagination at that point. It's like, did you know that that, that in Hey Arnold, Helga, or she made up Arnold. He's just a, she, she's got the real bad autism, and and Frankie, all the inv imaginary friends, except her grandmother, are fake people, and like, you know, Mac, he's not actually like a real kid. Or maybe he is, maybe he's like a little brother character, but she doesn't see him as that because like she can't associate, uh, you know, what is and is not his, her family other than her grandmother. Maybe a bunch of cartoonists sat down in an office uh, and came up with a fucking idea of what would happen if, what happens to imaginary friends whenever you get too old for them. Maybe that happened instead. Instead of this being becoming some sort of a grand conspiracy as to whether or not normal human beings can exist, or if everything's just a figment of our imaginations. Alright, now we should have enough souls to level up once. And then we'll throw that into like a health. Yeah, vitality. And that'll just give me a little bit more health for next time. Hooray. A little bit more defense, a little more health. Uh, what do we have left in here? Build. Oh yeah, we gotta go talk to Gog. So he can give me his bow. Not that I'm gonna use it because I don't think I can use it. But, you know. Gotta get everything. Gotta, ca gotta catch them all. Except they don't talk about that now. They just talk about being a Pokemon master because... 
in most games you can't collect all the Pokemon. You know, either because in order to collect certain Pokemon you have to be able to trade them, and some versions are no longer available to be traded between... Wondrously blurred, Lord Quinn would be proud. We'll never take to the skies again. Ah, I shall need it, but I know not if a human could even operate by me. So the boat doesn't actually disappear from the background, and uh, you get a like a smaller version of it for you to wield. Kind of. Again, don't think too hard about it. As I can, I've referenced Plague of Gripes a couple times. That was a line that I think he he said more than any other. Was don't think about it too hard. Developers certainly didn't, or something that that extent. You know, developers didn't think that hard about this. You know, the fact that Gog's hammer, you know, bow is behind him and he's gigantic. It fits his body. And then you get it, and it's like, well, it's got to be big enough for you to wield, too. But that's not the point. Yeah, we're gonna... I'm going the wrong direction. I gotta go back to the uh, bonfire. Over here. The blue gunk of the darkness kind of reminds me of whenever... In America, anyways. I don't know about anyone else, because I know I've seen some, uh, advertised- Mexican-esque advertisements, and they do not do this down in other places, but... This is- this is a- 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 a thing. This is a thing. Now let me pour some blue liquid on it. Oh, look how absorbent this blue liquid- You can't say period, can't say pretty much anything feminine hygiene. Just like, oh, in case you have blue liquid coming out of you, look how more absorbent it is. All right, welcome back, everybody. We've reached uh, the Great Hollow. This is the area right after Blight Town. Uh, we have not done this yet. I kind of forgot about this a little bit, so we're going to kind of head down here and pretend like I'm trying to do a full playthrough, even though I'm not going the back way into Blight Town. More twinkling. Ogle. Okay. There's nothing to pick up. Oh, I can't pick up any more Twinkling Titanite. I've got 99 of it. Oh, I'm gonna fall off. <laughs> Somehow I didn't fall off. Lucky me. Usually what happens is I fall off and I die. I'm gonna need big emit force. I wish this would work on dispelling the, uh, curse gas. Oh man, he can't went flying, I guess. Like, I knocked him up and then all of a sudden, like, 15 seconds later, he's coming down on top of me like, I'm still here! So we're not gonna be too concerned with stuff that I miss. Uh, mainly because I don't care. Uh, but when stuff like this happens, I guess I have to care, don't I? As I said before, we're just showing off to show off at this point. Uh, I'm not sure I've done enough of the Onion Knight quest for them to show up down here at the bottom. Uh, but if they do, we'll talk about it. There might be a step I'm missing. Not sure if there are any hidden walls here or not. If I die, I'll come back and we'll go the we'll go a different direction. But uh. This is more or less the fastest way down, if I'm not mistaken. Quick peek back here. Nope, nothing to worry about there. Those splatters.
Should be dum dums around here somewhere. Hello. One dead guy. Seems like a place for a thing. Nope. And I magically get 100% cursed all at once. Gotta love it. Gotta fucking love it. I'm watching my little thing and then all of a sudden it's like, nope, 900%. 